Okay, I've been going over the meaning of miracles, principles of miracles at the beginning of chapter one. And by me going through these, I'm basically explaining what the entire course is telling us. Um, they, the entire meaning and message of the course is encapsulated in these 50 miracle principles. All right, so we're starting with principle number 19. Miracles make minds one in God. They depend on cooperation because the sonship is the sum of all that God created. Miracles, therefore, reflect the laws of eternity and not of time. All right, so what does this mean? It means miracles make minds one in God because there's only one mind. There's only one of us. That's why. They depend on cooperation because the sonship is the sum of all that God created. So the sonship stands for the one of us. And as I've said in previous videos, don't get thrown off by the male dominated pronouns. Um, these sort of Bible like uh, terms somewhat in this book. Um, it's not trying to reinforce those. It's trying to bring light to the truth of, uh, the, you know, there is no gender because there is no duality because there's only one of us. So don't think of it in those terms. Um, so that's what the sonship means. It just means all of us, the one mind, uh, the one child of God. So that's all of us. So they, they, meaning miracles, depend on cooperation because the sonship, the one of us, right, is the sum of all that God created. Because that's it, there's just us. There's just God and the one us in spirit. That's it, that's all that really exists. Miracles therefore reflect the laws of eternity and not of time. Because in time, we think we are these bodies. We think we are these separate beings. We think we are separate from one another and separate from God in time. Because time is an illusion and these bodies are illusion and the separateness is an illusion. What's really real is in, is in eternity, which is our spirit, the oneness of who we really are. All right, so miracle uh, principle number 20, miracles we reawaken the awareness that the spirit, not the body, is the altar of truth, okay? Just another way of saying the same exact thing, that nothing exists except our spirit. That's the truth. Bodies are not the truth. Spirit is the truth. Um, this is the recognition that leads to the healing power of the miracle. So that's what the miracle is. That's what the entire course is about. It's about looking beyond the body, which is not real, which is illusory, to the truth of spirit, which is real. And there's only one of us, right? All of us are joined in our minds. There's just one of us, and that one mind of us is joined with God's, our creators. We are all one. That is the healing power of the miracle, is knowing that knowing how to look beyond the body to the truth of the spirit, the one spirit that we all are and how we are all one with God. That's the miracle. Number 21, miracles are natural signs of forgiveness because that's what forgiveness is. It's looking beyond the body to the truth of spirit, the oneness of what we all are. And it's not about just knowing it in our mind. It's also about feeling it, feeling that awareness. Um, so that's why miracles are natural signs of forgiveness, because that's what forgiveness is, looking beyond the body to spirit, knowing the truth. Through miracles, you accept God's forgiveness by extending it to others, okay? So remember, this course is never telling us what to do in our bodies. It's never telling us what to do in the world, in the seemingly separate, illusory world. It's telling us what to do in our minds how to change our minds about what we think we're seeing in the world. So when we change our mind, and instead of seeing separate bodies and separate people for us to judge and project out onto, when we look out into the world, instead of seeing that separateness, we see the oneness. We see how we're all connected and we're all one. And in that act of seeing that correctly through our mind, we are practicing forgiveness and we are extending forgiveness to everybody because all minds are connected. There's only one of us. 
So every time we remember the truth, our seemingly separate body, our seemingly separate mind, every time we remember the truth, we're helping everybody remember the truth. Not with our words, not because we're going around preaching to people and telling people. Not that there's anything wrong with that if you feel inspired to do so, just like Spirit told me to make these videos, even though, you know, it's uh, not within my normal personality type to make videos like this, but Spirit told me to, so I did. But my point is, it's not about that. It's not about making videos or teaching the course or going around talking about it. It's about um, action, what we do each day with our mind. And because all minds are joined as one, when we remember the truth, which is the spirit that we truly are, which is one with God, which is pure innocence and love, we are giving that gift to everybody because all minds are joined unconsciously. All right, there you go. There's some things to um, remember today. <laughs>